If you have a Canon camera and you use Ecamm Live, then it may be easier to connect them than you think. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and uh, in this video I'm going to talk to you very briefly about the compatibility of Canon cameras with Ecamm Live. Uh, I currently use a Canon EOS 60D, a 10 year old camera, and I had been using that with uh, prior to me using Ecamm Live. I know there were, I can't believe it, but there was a time before I used Ecamm Live. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago either. It feels like I've been using it for a lifetime. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I did download the e uh, Canon EOS webcam utility to enable me to plug my uh, Canon camera over USB into my computer and use it as a webcam for my Zoom meetings and team meetings and so on. And so then when I started using Ecamm Live, uh, I had been previously using an inferior product, which I won't mention <laughs> on this stream, on this video. Uh, when I started using that and obviously used my Canon camera for that, and I kind of assumed that I was being able to do that because of the Canon EOS webcam utility. I thought that that's how the signal was getting into the uh, into Ecamm Live. Uh, at some point over the past few weeks, I mentioned this to uh, Doc Rock, either on a live stream, in the chat, or uh, in his uh, office hours, something like that. And he just kind of dropped in the comment at some point, probably didn't even realize he'd mentioned it, but that, uh, of course, Ecamm Live can just recognize Canon cameras. And I kind of stopped for a moment, nodded in agreement, <laughs> sort of still thinking about it to myself. Uh, and it sort of stuck with me. And I'm just now in the process of setting up a new computer. So installing all of the different programs and things like that, that I am going to need. And uh, came to the uh, uh, Canon EOS webcam utility, which was on my list and thought, well, hmm, do I really need that now? So I'll just double check and uh, recalled that comment from Doc. And so sure enough, plugged my camera in and it does just show up immediately in Ecamm Live. Canon EOS 60D, it's right there. So I don't really need the uh, Canon EOS webcam utility. So I thought I'd just double check on uh, exactly why this is. And if you go to this particular page, which I shall leave in the uh, description below uh, for Ecamm Live in the Ecamm Live manual, where it's talking about camera mode and basically all the different ways that you can connect a camera or the, all the different cameras you can connect. In here, we have a section which says Canon DSLR cameras via USB. And here is the paragraph. You can now use your Canon DSLR camera with Ecamm Live without any extra hardware or software. Connect your Canon DSLR to your Mac's USB port. Your camera will now be an option in Ecamm Live's camera menu. Uh, and then it does go on to say some Nikon DSLRs may be recognized by Ecamm Live, but the quality will not be high. No other brands of DSLR or mirrorless camera are supported via USB. Uh, one caveat to that is that I think that the uh, Sony ZV-1 uh, is recognized because that actually itself has a built-in uh, USB uh, out so that it can connect to your computer quite simply over USB. And I also believe that the ZV-E10 uh, will at some point, maybe not immediately, I'm not sure, uh, Ken and Glenn, the twins, the creators, masterminds of Ecamm Live, uh, on their recent uh, monthly live stream, uh, that question came up and they said that they may have to go in and add the little bit of code specific to the ZV-E10. But basically those would also work over USB. But it means that you can just basically plug in any Canon camera that you've got and, uh, or maybe not any camera, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how far back this goes, but certainly uh, the, the bulk of them. And it just simply work over USB. So it means that you don't necessarily need to have a capture card. I'm only doing all of my videos over USB. You may get a uh, higher picture quality, perhaps if you've got one of these sort of higher end Canons or later models of Canon. Uh, so uh, at some point when I do upgrade my camera, although I will be jumping ship to the Sony <laughs> Sony tribe, I'm afraid. <laughs> but uh, when I eventually do, then I'll do that over a capture card so that I can get the proper 4K signal out. But there you go. A short and sweet video today just for anybody who's got a Canon camera. I will also leave a link to the uh, video that I did all about the uh, Canon EOS webcam utility because that is still useful if you want to just use your Canon camera as a webcam in for, in Zoom, for example, and if you're not on the uh, the pro plan of Ecamm Live, which of course gives you the virtual camera. So I'm just going to be doing all of my meetings uh, now through Ecamm Live, which I've been doing anyway, really. Uh, and that means that I'll get all of the uh, 
the, this camera signal will come into Ecamm Live and then we'll, that will feed into Zoom. So I hope that's been useful once again. As always, if it has, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll have more great videos all about Ecamm Live coming up in the playlist at the bottom right and uh, a specially selected video chosen by YouTube for you in the top right. <laughs> have a great day, everyone.